It's the killer disease that once seemed under control, but now cases of drug-resistant tuberculosis are reaching record levels. It's prompted a stark warning from the World Health Organization. TB kills more than one and a half million people a year worldwide. Our medical correspondent, Fergus Walsh, has been given exclusive access to trials of a new vaccine being tested in South Africa. Give me a deep breath in. Whenever she sees That's a doctor, good. John Giswa must okay. wear a face mask. She has XDR-TB, the most deadly drug-resistant strain of this airborne disease. And again? She also has HIV, but it's TB she Last fears. Time. I also told my doctor that I'm going to kill myself. I'm going to go straight to the train now to kill myself. Why? So Because I say it's the end of their life when they say that I have an XDR. TB treatment takes months and is not always effective. This little girlie here is a shame. She's five years old and she's got uh, multi-drug resistant TB. Yonella will be in hospital for nine months. Her aunt has a face mask to protect her from TB bacteria. When, when did you start the TB treatment this time? Last month. Last, last month. Eh? Unlike HIV, where there are many new drugs, the few TB medicines are decades old. Our TB treatment programs have failed. We've seen a four to five fold increase in TB rates in many sub-Saharan African countries over the last two decades because HIV is driving the TB epidemic and we really need to look upstream at prevention measures and that's where the hope uh, comes really for a new vaccine. No wonder there is such hope pinned on these children, among the first to receive a new TB vaccine. The idea is the jab will boost the very limited protection given by the existing BCG vaccine. Ashanti's mother knows what TB can do. Her partner died from it and she's also had the disease. I got TB five years ago. I was very sick. This is why I'm doing this for my little girl. That I can know that she is not getting the TB. Oh, it's a big boy. Scientists know the vaccine stimulates a strong immune response. Large-scale trials in adults and children will test exactly how effective it is. That's it. OK. TB was a neglected disease for decades, but there are now several new vaccines in development, this one being by far the furthest advanced. Medical science is now stepping up the fight against one of the world's biggest killers. Hi. The new vaccine was invented not by a drug company, but by a scientist at Oxford University, funded by the Wellcome Trust. If we had a better vaccine against TB, then it would make a huge impact throughout the world on, on both mortality and morbidity from this disease. That's obviously in the developing world where the need is greatest, but there are areas of Europe and indeed areas of the UK where BCG is routinely given um, because the prevalence of TB is, is so high. And it, this vaccine would potentially be useful in any area where BCG is given. If the vaccine proves effective, it could be licensed in 2015, giving doctors a vital new weapon against the ancient scourge of TB. Fergus Walsh, BBC News, South Africa.